Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar today on modernizing your workplace with the complete business hub on Office 365. Uh, I'm Sudi Gumi, the Director of Marketing at BizPoor Solutions, and I have here with me uh, Anil Gursahani, who's our Solutions Lead. Uh, so today's webinar will focus on what an Office 365 internet is uh, and how it is a modern digital workplace solution for your employees across many aspects of their work and functions of your business. Uh, and Office 365 Internet truly modernizes your workplace and provides your employees uh, with a comprehensive and deep set of tools uh, that simplify and drive your day-to-day -day information sharing, uh, collaboration, and productivity. Uh, but more simply put, it can be your one-stop tool for your company-wide communication and collaboration, uh, document management, project management, HR and employee management, workflow and forms automation, uh, employee self-help tools, and, and much more. And all of it fully built within one internet solution with a single uh, easy to use interface to be your complete business hub. Uh, and we'll talk more about what this means and how it looks uh, in today's webinar. So with that, the agenda for today's uh, webinar will be as follows. First, we're gonna give you a quick introduction into our presenters, uh, Anil and I, and into our team and company, BizPoor Solutions. Two, uh, we'll give you an overview of what an Office 365 internet is, for those of you that are not familiar, um, and how it can be your complete business hub, uh, and the basics of its features, functionality, and the tools that it provides to modernize your workplace and empower your employees. Then Anil will demo our Biz Portals 365 product to show you what an Office 365 internet uh, as a business hub looks like. Uh, so our product, BizPort 365, is a modern business internet built on Office 365 uh, and is built to be the most complete and comprehensive internet out there, uh, and you'll see why. And then lastly, we'll try to leave some time for Q&A. We have uh, a good amount to cover, but we'll leave, try to leave some time for Q&A. Uh, so please ask your questions throughout the webinar in the chat toolbar um, in the GoToWebinar. It should be on your side panel. Um, and ask your questions throughout the, the presentation, and we'll try to get through uh, the questions at the end. Um, and if not, we'll certainly follow up with you uh, via email. So a little bit about us. Again, I'm Sudi Gumi, the Director of Marketing at BizPortal Solutions. Uh, before I joined BizPortals, I was a management consultant at PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, PwC, uh, focused on digital strategy and digital transformation uh, for Fortune 500 companies. Uh, so my expertise is in helping companies digitize all aspects of their business uh, from their customer-facing digital experience to internal collaboration to back-end and back-office operations and, and helping them align their business strategy with their IT strategy. Uh, and then here with me is Anil Gursahani, who is our solutions lead. Uh, he leads our customer implementation and customer success teams. He has 18, over 18 years of experience in uh, enterprise infrastructure and applications. He has over 12 years of experience implementing and deploying internet solutions based on Office 365 and SharePoint uh, and is an Office 365 and SharePoint expert. And he'll be providing a brief demo of our BizPoor 365 product later in this webinar. Then as a company, uh, BizPoor Solutions, we're a full service software and services company uh, solely dedicated to organizations on Office 365 and SharePoint. We're based in Orange County, Southern California, and we have offices in Boston uh, and in India. We have over 130 employees comprised of Office 365 and SharePoint experts, software architects, product developers, uh, customer success team members, and solution consultants. Uh, with respect to our product, BizPort 365, uh, obviously we provide the product um, and develop it, but we also provide a number of services and support around the product to help our customers be successful. Uh, our product-related services include customization, uh, setup and onboarding, customer success and training, and ongoing um, maintenance and product updates. Uh, we also have, uh, provide services to those that are not using our product but need general Office 365 or SharePoint help as we have deep uh, Office 365 SharePoint and technical expertise and love uh, helping organizations of all sizes uh, empower their employees. Uh, we provide SharePoint development, integration, business analysis, and data migration services, just to name a few. Uh, you can visit our website, bizportals365.com, uh, to get more information on our services. Uh, we also have 
15 years of experience del uh, developing internet and digital workplace solutions on SharePoint and Office 365. Uh, so we're experts in this realm as well as the Microsoft platform as a whole. So our clients, uh, we help businesses of all sizes, uh, small to large enterprises and across industries uh, from financial services to healthcare to IT uh, to nonprofits and educational institutions uh, as we can customize our solution to meet your business uh, as well as your industry specific needs. Uh, and you can see some of our customers <laughs> lightly there in the background. Um, and then finally, we've been Microsoft Gold Partners for over 15 years as well. Uh, so to start off and to get us kind of on the same page, I wanted to share some common challenges uh, that our, our customers commonly face and I'm sure many of you face. Um, so first, employees lack a central, they often lack a central easy to use tool uh, where they can go to access the information and tools they need uh, and when they need it in a, you know, in a quick and easily accessible manner. Uh, they use many single purpose tools for different uses. For example, uh, they have information in their project management tool, a separate, you know, documents in a separate document management product. Um, and these tools are often not in one place and in, in one unified solution. Um, so they often go to many places, uh, so to speak, to get work done or to search for the information that they need. Uh, and these tools are not used consistently uh, across uh, teams and employees. So information is, is not in one central place. And on a daily basis, this is cumbersome. Uh, so much productivity is already lost switching from task to task uh, and tool to tool. Then they also lack access to up-to-date information, whether it's inability to search and find the latest and greatest version of a document, uh, get the latest company news and announcements, uh, find the latest HR policies, access and distribute reports from your existing business systems. Uh, employees often lack the access to the information that they need when they need it, and it's often not easy to search for this information. Uh, so what ends up happening is a lot of time is spent on finding information, uh, and even estimates say employees spend one to two hours a day just searching for information and documents that they need. Uh, employees are all also burdened with admin tasks and manual processes, uh, whether it's submitting HR information, office forms, or other manual workflows. Employees are uh, inundated with unnecessary busy work that blocks uh, their productivity and makes simple tasks uh, more complicated than they need to be. Uh, and then they lack mobility. In today's uh, digital kind of world, employees still lack any time, anywhere access to the information uh, they need for, for their work. And again, I'm sure many of you face some of these, if not all of these challenges within your teams and across your business. Uh, and these are the kind of the, the challenges that an Office 365 internet uh, solves among uh, others. So now how does an Office 365 internet solve these challenges and serve um, to be as a complete business hub on Office 365, in, uh, on Office 365, sorry. An Office 365 internet is built off of the Office 365 and SharePoint uh, framework uh, and extends Office 365 and SharePoint into a full uh, internet and digital workplace solution. It extends Office 365 and SharePoint uh, to deliver uh, one, more intuitive, enhanced, and more flexible usability. So you can organize and access things more quickly, um, do common tasks more easily, have dashboard views, uh, drag and drop features, just to name a few, uh, and importantly, uh, easily publish content uh, and much more. And then two, an Office 365 internet delivers more uh, functionality. For example, the features that come out of the box, uh, out of the box with Office 365 and SharePoint are enhanced. Uh, but with BizPort 365, our Office 365 internet uh, product and solution, we've extended the functionality even further beyond uh, basic internet features that you find out there with other products uh, with robust built-in uh, features for document management, project management, HR employee management, a workflow and forms automation, uh, and more that can stand alone as separate solutions but are fully built in within a single internet solution. So with BizPort 365, we've extended the Office 365 internet into a more comprehensive uh, business-centric internet solution, and we built it to be the most complete and comprehensive internet uh, out there. And then three in Office 365, 
importantly, it integrates uh, with Office 365 tools to bring in uh, key functionality and productivity tools that are available in the Office 365 uh, ecosystem. Uh, so for example, uh, our product has fully built in um, Outlook for email integration. So you can get email notifications on important, uh, when you know important company news or project news are published, uh, upcoming task deadlines, document updates, uh, uh, approvals, and more. And then OneDrive for your file uh, storage, uh, Teams and Yammer for project discussions and real-time communication, uh, Planner to supplement your task management, uh, Flow to automate your manual forms and workflows, uh, and Power BI to make data and reports easy to digest and understand with graphs, visuals, uh, and dashboards. So these Office 365 tools and functionality are integrated within Office 365 internet in one solution and in one uh, unified cohesive experience. And then four, uh, again with BizForce 365, uh, we've enabled the ability to integrate with other business applications, uh, your CRM, your ERP, uh, for example, to bring in and distribute data and reports and bring in workflows from these external systems. Uh, then since it's built within the Office 365 and SharePoint framework, and Office 365 internet directly and instantly connects to your Office 365 and SharePoint environment. Uh, so it's easy to set up, saving you the time uh, and cost um, that's usually involved in building your internet solution or implementing another internet uh, solution. Uh, and it is cloud and web-based and is equipped with enterprise-grade security. Now, uh, what specific features and functionality does an Office 365 internet uh, have to be your business hub? Uh, and I'm including some kind of quick and brief points, um, just so you get the gist. Um, so one, in Office 365, internet provides a, a central place for your up-to-date and critical information. Uh, as we men mentioned, all information, whether it's company or team documents, news, announcements, projects, your team calendars, uh, in Office 365, internet houses and organizes all of these different forms of communication and content uh, and makes it easily um, viewed. Uh, and yeah, so in Office 365 internet, it's with all these forms of com content, it's easy to add, edit, and share all of these different types of content, whether you're a user or admin uh, of the internet. And importantly, in Office 365 internet has powerful uh, search features allowing you to easily and quickly search across all this information, content, and projects uh, housed within the internet. Uh, so making that information easily uh, accessible, uh, searchable, and saving the hours per day employees spend uh, finding information. Then in Office 365 Internet also automates workflows. So multi-step workflows, uh, general approvals on documents or admin requests from your manager, HR, or finance team, or complex operations like inventory updates. Um, these all can be automated. Uh, these, of course, are just a few examples and can be extended and customized to your business and industry needs. Uh, you can also automate and bring in workflows from different systems, such as your ERP, ERP, CRM, sales and finance, and so on. So the things in Office 365 Internet can automate are vast. And then an Office 365 Internet um, also has uh, self-service tools for your employees. Uh, so self-service tools are those that help employees with common tasks, uh, such as admin tasks, uh, like Office Forms for common everyday tasks such as expense reimbursement forms, uh, time off request forms, requests for purchases, uh, which businesses uh, still rely on paper forms and manual approvals for. Uh, and these tasks and forms can be digitized and automated. And then HR type tasks so that employees can easily find the company's up-to-date policies and procedures. Uh, it is also great for training and development. So many of our cl uh, customers specifically use biz portals for training uh, where they house training content, videos, and, and training kind of curriculum. Um, and also to provide onboarding help for new employees and offboarding for employees. Um, and then all of these um, absolutely decrease the burden and dependence on HR. Also, self-service tools include IT type tasks uh, for, for example, uh, submitting and receiving your IT help desk tickets. All of that can be automated. 
Um, and then also self-help such as frequently asked questions or how to type information in videos. Uh, so there, there are plenty, plenty of self-help tools and examples um, that an Office 365 can provide and automate uh, depending on your needs. And these are just a few examples. And then importantly, in Office 365, Internet also helps manage just your day-to-day -day, uh, work. From managing your work um, and documents, to managing your projects and tasks, to managing uh, your HR needs, and Office 365 Internet can be more than just your typical Internet and is more of a comprehensive uh, business-enabled solution. Uh, and we'll show you what this deep functionality looks like. Uh, for example, with our BizPro solutions, uh, we have robust project management features uh, like Kanban boards and Gantt charts um, to help you manage your day-to-day -day tasks and projects. And then Office 365 Internet also provides critical collaboration tools. Uh, it has team sites for within team and cross team execution. It has dedicated sites or workspaces uh, based on your team, project, or loca location, however you want to facilitate uh, the work and collaboration and however you want to define your teams. Uh, it also provides useful and more efficient ways of communicating, uh, real-time communication uh, with uh, Yammer and um, uh, Teams. So you can integrate discussion boards, chat rooms, and real-time uh, workplace messaging within your Office 365 internet so that your team communication is also housed and streamlined in one central place. Uh, and then Office 365 internet equips you for a mo mobile workforce. As more people work remotely while traveling uh, from home in different work environments, um, information continues uh, to increasingly be searched and accessed on mobile devices. Uh, so mobility is, is obviously a key for business productivity. And in Office 365 Internet, being a cloud solution, it provides access from anywhere, anytime, on any device while employing enterprise-grade security. And then last but not least, an Office 365 Internet has features to boost employee engagement, uh, often overlooked. But the more employees are engaged with their work and with the, within the company uh, and are in the know of what's going on, the more happy and productive uh, they can be. So an Office 365 Internet keeps employees engaged by providing useful tools and features uh, that we discussed and also by making them easy to use. So the easier it is to use, the more people you will use it and having them housed in one central solution, uh, it makes it easier for your employees to access um, and just, just use it, and the more engaged and informed uh, they will be. Also, an Office 365 Internet has social collaboration features, um, an important feature um, tools for any Internet solution. Uh, like an, Some examples are employee directories, making it easier for employees to content and find, um, connect and find their teams and colleagues. And it also provides a way uh, for employees to engage on, you know, company news, um, com uh, employee dis or sorry, project discussions, uh, and uh, and they can also get quick and important feedback uh, from their managers. Uh, so these are some of the just the basic features and functionality of Office 365 Internet as a business hub. And then now, so let's talk about how you can create and get an Office 365 internet, um, whether you choose a solution uh, like BizPro 365 or not. So if you're looking, or if you're looking to move, if you're on or looking to move to Office 365 or SharePoint, you basically have two main options. Uh, option one is you can build and configure Office 365 into uh, such a comprehensive internet and digital workplace solution yourself. Uh, you know, you can customize the UI, how it looks, and exactly what features you want um, exactly to your uh, wants and needs. Um, of course, however, doing so is, is time consuming, it's costly, and you need the skill sets uh, to do that. So it does involve some coding, um, and then you need your IT to support and maintain the internet because it can easily become overwhelmed with the data and become outdated. Um, but if you have the, the, the time, the skill sets, and skills in-house, um, you can easily not, well, not easily, but you can customize and configure your Office 365 and SharePoint, and this may be the way to go. Um, but it's more cost effective and easier to maintain and easier to use if you go with solutions uh, like this Force 365, uh, a ready to go internet um, that basically do the work for you. So this is option two. Uh, and Office 365 internet is 
it's, it's very easy to use, um, doesn't require any special skills or IT resources uh, to set up and maintain. Uh, and it's also quick to set up within days and it's uh, cost effective. Uh, the only downside is you may not be able to get it customized exactly 100%, uh, but really we often find with our customers at least that 80 to 90% of their needs can be met with a ready to go Office 365 internet. Uh, and then in return, you get much more bang for your buck. You get the quick ROI with minimal investment and with minimal support and resources needed on your end. Uh, and then you essentially get cost-free technology and feature updates as, uh, you know, we we get, we get regularly update our products with the latest features. Um, so you don't have to worry about your internet becoming old or obsolete. Uh, and then importantly, it's scalable as you grow and house more content, house more employees within the internet. And then with minimal setup and no maintenance, and no training, uh, your overall IT is simplified, uh, really keeping your IT focused and employees and business focused on more uh, higher value uh, kind of tasks and priorities and on growing your business rather than uh, growing your IT and software costs. Uh, so that covers the basics of an Office 365 internet as your business hub and what it can do. Uh, please continue to ask your questions. And, and now Anil will provide the brief demo of our BizPortal 365 product. Thanks a lot, Sudhi. Um, hope everyone can hear me and also see my screen. Um, so Sudhi gave us a lot of information in terms of uh, an Office 365 intranet being used as a business hub. So let me start off from his last slide that he spoke about uh, SharePoint, you know, whether you can build your own intranet or have a uh, out of the box intranet. So uh, I've been with SharePoint for the last uh, 15 plus years, um, done a lot of SharePoint on-premise deployments and now moving on to cloud deployments. So the key thing to SharePoint is that it is such an extensible platform that uh, you would almost, uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and build it yourself, uh, it, it would be a long project. The reason being that though the functionality features are there, but uh, to get it to a usable format for your employees, for them to come in easily and do things, it's always cumbersome to get there. And hence, uh, we have built a ready-to-go intranet solution uh, for you all. Okay, so it's always easy to get started very quickly. Uh, user adoption is the biggest thing with SharePoint, uh, but uh, we have tried to solve those problems. So what you see on your screen right now is uh, the home page of our Office 365 uh, intranet and uh, which is this portal 365 so now i'm going to be talking about our solution uh, so basically the four key areas uh, that we are focused on uh, first one is uh, information distribution so which covers generation of information so you want to create content be able to create it very quickly uh, without any hassles and then for users to really consume that information right so we are focused on that so that's one key area we'll go through the second one is uh, business process automation. Uh, again, very important uh, differentiator between a social intranet and a business intranet uh, that if you're able to get in uh, and deploy your business processes uh, in an intranet and have people use it uh, to basically, you know, for approvals, workflows and other things, uh, that's where it really uh, provides a lot of value. So we have uh, that section in our product. Uh, so we'll go through that. Uh, the third one is document management. Uh, document management is a key feature of SharePoint. Uh, that's how it started off really with the core focus with document management. So be it versioning, uh, be it archiving, retention of documents, SharePoint is very robust in all of that. So we extend that functionality of document management. And then the fourth one is uh, executing projects. So whether uh, you're part of IT department, marketing, sales, maybe contract management, you are running internal projects. Uh, so it's a great tool uh, to also execute and manage projects. Okay. So on the home page uh, here, you see in terms of information, uh, you have a section uh, for alerts, news and announcements. So easy for IT, HR uh, to publish these alerts and also announcements you know, by managers, executives, uh, they can come and publish this uh, rather than just send an email out or have IT or HR do those functions. Uh, so you can do it uh, based on your access rights. So for an alert, 
or a news and announcement, you see this little icon on the top right. Uh, now that is consistent through all sections uh, of the intranet. So basically, if you have the right permissions, you can go here uh, with one click. You can add an alert. Uh, you can also basically choose to add an article, event, notice to your employees. And it's as easy as putting a title, message. You know, you want to put the start end time, uh, and also the ability to send notifications uh, to groups of people, either to all employees or a certain group of people. You can set that up. So very easy to publish an alert, and for users. Very easy to just click on this, come here, and then uh, read the information, right? And uh, you could get this via email notification, as you'll saw. Same thing with news and announcements for users to come and just click on it, read the article. It's uh, very simple. Uh, so this can really help in terms of uh, sharing information uh, with employees, because that is key. Uh, Real-time inf information about companies and other things, uh, events, uh, that's great for employees. Uh, then also what we provide is a calendar section here. So whether it's holidays uh, or people are going to be out of the office or they've taken some time off, which I'll show you in a little bit. But basically you can see all of these in one view uh, on the calendar here. So great for all employees to be on the same page. Uh, and also you can integrate your personal calendar. You can bring it in and see it right here. Okay. Um, Moving a little bit down, on the left side, you have uh, people look up uh, a directory. So basically employees who have access to the intranet, most likely all of your Office 365 users would be on the intranet. Uh, so you can easily search for users, right? Uh, and be able to get in touch with them. This is integrated with Skype. Uh, so you can chat with them right from here, send an email or Call them using Skype, or if you have telephony integration, uh, voice over IP system, we can work with you on those. But generally, out of the box, we do that with Skype. Right? So uh, very easy to get hold of people. A uh, couple of other web paths here, birthdays and work anniversary. So again, all of this is uh, great for employees. That they have all this information up to date. Uh, you have a spotlight feature on the right side. Uh, this is great for employee recognition. So managers can come and publish uh, an employee recognition article here, and users can easily read this. Okay. Uh, on the left side, you have some task reminders that is personal to every user. So you can uh, get a quick view of all your tasks that have been assigned to you, whether you're part of a department or a project. It all uh, collects together, and you can see the new tasks that are in here, or you want to see the in progress uh, tasks. You can get a view of that, directly jump to those stars rather than going to individual sites. And also you can set up your reminders. Um, SharePoint, obviously there are going to be a lot of documents stored. You can mark documents as your favorites and uh, you can get the view of those right here. If you're following people, uh, maybe your team members or other teams, uh, you can get a list of those and then you can get a list of your departments uh, right here. So a very easy way to distribute information and consume it, right? The other thing for information distribution uh, really is the employee center. So what we give as part of uh, this portal 365 is a ready to use employee center. And employee center is generally used by HR. And HR would come and publish all information, be it uh, company related stuff, insurance, travel, as you can see on the left here, uh, maybe some carpool information for employees. Uh, everything can be published very easily. Um, and also employee onboarding, let's say you have a new employee coming in, just give them access to the portal, uh, point them to the employee center, they can start uh, coming here and reading uh, information that uh, relates to them. Right? So great way to publish this. Um, also there's a streaming video web part, let's say there are some training videos that you want to upload for your employees uh, or any other events, you can do that here and uh, uh, employees without leaving this page, they can directly look at those videos, right? And you can connect your external videos from YouTube, Vimeo, or Office 365 Stream. If you, uh, you can house those videos there and connect it in this web part. So great for employees. Uh, news and announcements, quick links. Uh, works, uh, news and announcements works the same way as the homepage. Uh, essentially, you can publish those and employees can read about it. You can provide some quick links here, external or internal links uh, for employees. 
Uh, moving down, there's a little photo gallery. Uh, HR can publish uh, photographs of events uh, here. Uh, you have a little contact section here. Again, this is all catered towards employees having uh, all the information uh, regarding the company, regarding their benefits and so on, uh, published right in front of them. And then we have a document library for employee center. Uh, so basically you can house all documents, uh, be it policy, plans, uh, let's say benefit information for employees. Uh, employees can come and they can quickly get to their information. All these fields are customizable. So once you deploy this, we can work with you show you how to create these. Uh, but basically, you can categorize all your documents. There's a section for subcategories also. Uh, put in keywords, so it's easy for people to search for documents. And search is you know, enterprise level search, uh, also including search by title, content, uh, metadata. You can search across all of that right here. You can also build custom views for your employees, so easier for them to get to the information. So for example, all policy related documents will just show up here. Right? All right, um, so Employee Center is another place, a uh, great uh, setup for information distribution and consumption. Okay, moving back to the home page here. Uh, now what you see here is out of the box, uh, what we provide in terms of these uh, functionalities, uh, if you want to change layout of this page, you know many of the tools don't give you that uh, right out of the box. What we do is let you or the administrator, let's say in your organization, can come in uh, and change the layout uh, for our employees. So let me just show you very briefly. Uh, so this is the page layout uh, section. You can easily drag and drop the web paths, customize the look and feel of your uh, home page. And that applies to all uh, pages on the intranet. Okay, so a front end customization feature that we give you. All right, moving on to the next section. So I spoke about business process automation. So, for business process automation, you can see we provide you eight to 10 forms out of the box, which include most commonly used forms like uh, out of office. So, if someone is going to be out of the office, they can just come here quickly, um, <clears throat> choose the Category, let's say they're going on a business trip, they'll put some comments and just save this. It starts showing up in the calendar on the home page. Uh, you have some time off, uh, uh, time off form, a purchase request, some reimbursement uh, form, and also a IT help desk form. So this is great, you know, if you are using a subscription for, uh, let's say, help desk or ticketing system, uh, you might as well give that up, leverage your Office 365 investment, uh, use this product and you can have a ticketing system ready to go uh, for all your employees, right? So as a user comes in, he can put a issue, let's say he's having a problem with his laptop or uh, you know some applications, you just put IT help desk ticket here and it gets routed to the IT department and they can work on it, all right? So we give you that form. Uh, also, um, a lightweight goal management uh, system, uh, in shape of this form. So basically employees can come in, uh, talk to their managers and fill out, let's say their quarterly goals. Uh, and then you can add your goal in here and basically route it to your manager for approval. At the end of the quarter, you can do some self-assessments. Managers can do their performance appraisals right here. Uh, so if you, uh, you know, I'm just giving you a high level overview of all the functionalities. If you want to see something in detail, please get hold of us. Uh, we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one with you and show you all of this in detail. Uh, but essentially, all of these make up, uh, you know, uh, this intranet, uh, really transform it into a business hub, right? Uh, so you are actually doing all your processes, executing processes from within the intranet. Um, now, we have multi-stage workflow built in. So let's say a person goes and fills out a time of request, right? So an alert comes via email to their manager, also, there is an in-app notification built in. So you, when you're logged in here, let's say you're the manager, you start seeing this. Uh, there are some approval requests. And we provide you with a form center right at the top that you see here. And I'll show you the view. So if you come to the form center, on the right side, you have a great inbox here uh, where you can see all your forms that you have submitted. Uh, those are organized here. And then the ones you have to approve, they start showing up. So let's say there's a mileage reimbursement form. 
it's very easy to just click on it, review the information. You can approve, reject. Uh, you can also ask for comments back to the user and so on. So there is some other functionality here that we provide. But essentially, you can. It's very easy to go ahead and approve this, and then it can. The form can move on to the next level, be it administration or HR. Okay. So uh, with this form center, uh, again, you can see also. Uh, that is specifically for administration or HR. You can see all the saved records. That means all the historical records can be seen. Uh, so, for example, time of request. If you want to go ahead and see HR comes in and sees, uh, you know, the team's time off. That is the HR department or all employees. You could see it right here in this view. So you get a historical view of all the forms here, and also your personal time off forms that you submitted. So a very powerful automation platform. Uh, built-in BIS portals, 365. All right, moving on to documents. So I'll talk about documents in terms of uh, team collaboration um, in that uh, respect. So what we provide is a section here for creating a department size. Every organization has their own departments. You can create department size. This is just a demo uh, setup here. But essentially, you, let's say you are uh, you set up a marketing department, and uh, once a department site is set up, and you click on it, uh, essentially you come to this view, uh, and again for consistency, you'll see the consistency between this and the employee center. Uh, there's a streaming video web part, news and announcements, some quick links for a marketing department, and then you have a section here really to manage all the day-to-day -day work. So you could create a task list for your marketing department, some action items. Again, everything here can be customized. What you see on the left, you can build your own list. So you want to bring in some calendars, marketing calendars here, you can just create that. Again, it's that little icon on the top right. As you create, as, uh, click on it and click on the plus icon. Now you can create your own list here. You can bring in a calendar, contact list, and so on for your department. Okay, so very easy to set all of this up. Um, <clears throat> so in terms of tasks, uh, basically you can uh, you know use it. Uh, it's as easy as using a spreadsheet. You can create a new task, assign it to people, or you can use a little longer form for a task and uh, assign a task to a person. Right. So you can uh, manage all your work in your marketing department right from here. Okay. Moving below, you can see staff members, some other useful links for your department. And now we move to the document section. So as you have seen in the employee center, uh, every site has their own document libraries. You can create multiple libraries for a particular site. So be it by location, maybe by uh, types of documents that you want to house, you can set all of that up. We give you the flexibility to create your own categories, subcategories in the system and assign it to specific document libraries. Uh, all of these document libraries are synced with OneDrive. Uh, again, I'm assuming most of you are on Office 365. You have used OneDrive in uh, uh, one form or another. So basically, all of these document libraries start showing up in OneDrive. So this is a view of our intranet libraries as part of OneDrive. So once you log in, you have access to a couple of them. You can see all of those documents. So let's say Employee Center, you can see all the documents in this view, and you can interact with the documents right from here. Okay, so you don't have to necessarily use a site. Your OneDrive is fully integrated now uh, with these documents. <clears throat> Additional things that you can do with documents, uh, we give you obviously the uh, functionality that SharePoint provides. Uh, for example, you know, setting permissions, sharing documents, uh, copying, moving documents, you can do all of that. Uh, you can check out a document, bring in versions, and then you can very easy to see the version uh, history. Right, uh, of documents and uh, pulling up some previous documents. So you can do all of that here. Uh, when you have a lot of documents, let's say you're uh, reading through one of those, so you can quickly uh, come here and say, I want to pin this document uh, so I don't have to search for it later. Uh, I can pin it right to the top. So it starts pinning documents and you can access those when you come back to uh, finish reviewing them. Once you're done, you can quickly unpin it. Okay, and it disappears from that view. So <clears throat> very strong document uh, management 
functionality built in again very tightly integrated with OneDrive now the last section is about projects so project management uh, you know uh, is in uh, two forms one is uh, executing projects within a department so that's what you see right at the top there are five active projects running in the marketing department so you can see that view of that and if you click on this projects link on the right side you will get to the portfolio view it's a portfolio view of the marketing projects running uh, so five of them are running you can it you at 15 20 you could search for projects by project manager for the time period and so on and you can search for those and then clicking on a particular project takes you to the project site okay now this is core uh, project management functionality which you have built in so basically a project uh, gives you uh, a project site uh, gives you a good summary view right at the top so you can quickly read uh, you know how many days are remaining how many open tasks there are in the project and so on uh, there's a news and announcement similar to employee center and the home page uh, there is a discussion section on the right side uh, so basically instead of sending emails to the project team members you can uh, just uh, um, have uh, you know chat communication uh, with your project team members right here okay so you can maintain that um, and then you can build your own list. If you remember, I spoke about that in the department side. So similar to that, you could have your task list for projects. So some projects are small. Some project managers like to just keep a simple task list. And uh, you can set that up, assign it to people, and monitor it. That way, we give you some visual uh, views of your tasks. So you can see that here. Uh, and then there are uh, project managers who really want to use an advanced level of uh, a project plan so we give you two views one of them is a gantt chart view so this is your task list basically in a gantt chart view so you can uh, get your projects lined up here uh, you can drag and drop it has all the functionality of a typical gantt chart you can set up dependencies between tasks and so on uh, and then there are uh, you know some of uh, the project managers who would rather use a kanban board view now if you've been using office 365 planner uh, this is similar to that view essentially you can see all your tasks uh, by buckets that is uh, you know the task status bucket you can see those organized in that way and you can easily drag and drop tasks from one bucket to the other update them you click on it it opens up the task and you can work on those so a very robust um, project management uh, functionality built in here again as i said you can build your custom list here so risks and issues, milestone calendars, and so on, you can build that. Um, and then every site, uh, similar to the employee center department site, comes with a document library. Right? So you can store your project documents right here. So it's very consistent. You must have seen that uh, the look and feel is consistent. Functionality is consistent, again, for users to be able to quickly come in, uh, work on the intranet. Now, uh, these were department projects. If you had a cross-functional project, you could use something called project site here, identical in functionality, but now you can uh, assign team members, uh, basically across departments, you can bring in team members uh, and then work on those projects. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is a dashboard view for users. So what we provide is my site uh, right up here. And uh, when you click on my site, essentially for a uh, individual uh, user they can go and see all their tasks in one view because again if you're working on several projects and you're part of a department uh, you don't have to jump to all those sites you can get a consolidated view of all your tasks this is great for uh, people to quickly execute their tasks so the tool is built really to make it easy for users to use uh, so all the issues for the last 10 years around sharepoint we have tried, uh, that is from the usability aspect, we are trying to solve those. Uh, you know, we follow the Office 365 roadmap, uh, and with that, uh, we make sure that all the uh, enhanced functionality comes into our product also. So my task, you can see all of those here. You can, for example, go to your in-progress task, and you see a list of all those. You can click on any of these, open up the task, and update it right from here, rather than going to individual sites. Okay, same with documents. Uh, very similar to the Office 365 Delve view, but basically you can see all your documents, the ones that you're following will show up here, all the recent documents, 
in the intranet i will start showing up okay again this was a very high level overview uh, we have uh, reached the end of our time for the webinar uh, i will reply to questions uh, all your questions uh, by email uh, and again if you have any more questions uh, around this uh, please uh, reach out to us and uh, you can do that by going to our website, uh, bizportals365.com. Send us an email at bizinfo at bizportals.com. Uh, and also, outside of the product, we provide Office 365 and SharePoint services. Okay, so if you're interested, if you already have an existing intranet, uh, SharePoint intranet, and uh, you want to bring in some of the functionality that you have seen, if you want to bring it in, uh, please don't hesitate to call us, and uh, we'll schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with you. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks a lot for attending. Thanks.